Welcome to Blue Marble Geographics, Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and this is Mackenzie Mills, an application specialist here at Blue Marble. Mackenzie will be walking us through the new terrain painting slope tool today. So Mackenzie, take it away. Thanks, Rachel. The terrain painting tools in Global Mapper were added in version 22 of the program, and in version 22.1, we have two new operations, first creating a slope terrain along a line and slope terrain across a line. We'll first look at the slope terrain along a line option. With this operation selected, we're restricted to the line type brushes. So we have to slope along a line. We still can edit the um, brush size and the feathering in terms of the grid cells for our data. Additionally, we have the option to specify the slope along which to create our new terrain. So we enter a slope value either in degrees or percent or as a ratio. For this example, I'm creating a sloped ramp going from the bank of our um, lake area down into the water, something like a boat ramp maybe. So I'm going to choose a negative slope value. I'll go with negative eight degrees in order to create that slope down from my high point to the lower point. With just a left click and a right click, I can create that sloped terrain painting in this boat ramp. Before we move on to the slope terrain along, across a line option, um, I'm going to bring up a quick path profile of a small section of our existing data. This will allow us to look at the change after I um, create this slope across a line. So with the terrain painting tool, I'll choose to create the slope across a line. And here we're going to create a little bank coming off the edge of our road feature to maybe block some um, runoff coming from the road before it gets to our lake. I can select the line type brushes again and edit the brush size and feathering. Additionally, I can choose to slope across our line on the left side, the right side, or both sides. Here, I'll choose to slope on the right side of the line that I'll draw. I'll also choose to create a slope up with a positive slope value of 15 degrees. Next, in my workspace, I will draw that line along the edge of my road to create that um, slope up bank next to my road feature. And we can see in that path profile tool that slight incline that we have coming down from our road. So that's our new edited terrain at 15 degrees. And then the second side of that is the feathering distance we have blending back into our existing terrain. So it sounds like this is an application that could be used by land management um, entities or um, lakes and fisheries. Are there any other industries that it might work for? Any industry where you need to create um, or edit some terrain to match a certain slope, whether you're you know, grading a road for um, some new construction or uh, you know, creating a ditch or a bank like I just did to affect or uh, divert some runoff water. Um, those are all ways you can use this tool to uh, create slopes and edit that terrain pretty easily in Global Mapper. Great, right. and it's important to remember that that's just one tool in the terrain painting menu. You can elevate terrain and lower it, fill holes and whatnot. So it's a really powerful tool for whatever you're doing. Thank you, Mackenzie, for walking us through the new feature. And I hope that you'll all join us next time for Ask the Experts.